Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Asus N76VZ. This is the new replacement for the N73 and the N75 series. If you're familiar with those models then you'll know that this is a pretty lightweight, long battery life, multimedia laptop. So it takes a great emphasis on those things that can give you a great multimedia experience. So let's take a closer look at all those features and get into the details. Sitting top and center on the LCD screen you're going to find the integrated webcam. This is a 2.0 megapixel webcam. And Asus is saying that it's got really great performance in low light. Just to the left of it, that little hole you find there, that's to allow the sound into the laptop where the built-in microphone is. Now, just to the right of that, you're going to find two stickers. The first one's letting you know that this is an LED backlit keyboard, so you can see it easily in the dark. And the other one is letting you know that the screen has a 150 degree wide viewing angle. So no matter where you're sitting as far as trying to view the screen, you can get a good view of it. Now backing up to take a better look at the bottom of the laptop. The base here where you have the keyboard housing, you can see it has a very minimalistic type of build and approach to it. You just basically have two dedicated buttons, a keyboard and one giant touchpad. On the right side, you'll see here's the power button and the little holes that are perforated into the laptop are going to be letting the speakers come through. It's got a very low profile chiclet keyboard. Again, that's LED backlit, so it's easy to see. And then over on the left side, you got one more button. This one has no labeling on it because you actually get to customize this button. This is basically what Asus is calling your instant key. You get to program it via software to launch an application instantly whenever you press it. So think of a piece of software that you use every single day without fail, and then you can set this key to open it for you so you can save a little bit of time. Now let's take a look at the specs badge here. As you can see, it's letting us know that we are using the new Third generation Core i7 Ivy Bridge CPU has a Blu-ray drive on it so you can play Blu-ray movies and it has dual hard drives on it so you have two different hard drives. Moving over to the left you're going to find the Windows 7 badge, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650 mobile badge, 2 gigabytes of onboard video RAM, and the Core i7 badge. Here front and center is where you're going to find the super oversized touchpad. This is actually concealing the left and right mouse click buttons within the touchpad, so they are still there. You just have to press the touchpad corners to activate those. Now let's take a 360 degree look at all the laptop's interfaces. On the front side, you're just gonna have your status LEDs and you're gonna have a single card slot here. This is a 4-in-1 card reader, so it does SD, MMC, MS, and MS Pro. As we swing further over and we get to the right-hand side, here is where we will find the headphone jack, your microphone jack two USB 3.0 ports, and our optical drive. In this case, this is a Blu-ray drive. Take note that this is a Blu-ray writer, not just a reader, so if you actually intend to do any backups or use the uh, Blu-ray to burn disk, you can do that. And now just a bit further over, you have two more ports. The first one is really unique. It's actually a dedicated port for an external subwoofer that goes with this laptop. And then next to that is a more standard Kingston lock port, so you can lock down your laptop when you're not going to be attending it. Now getting around to the back of the laptop, taking a look at the lid here, you'll see that's actually coated in a really nice aluminum finish. The only thing you're going to find back here is the ASUS logo. There's actually no ports of any type back here, so no cords to come out of the back of your laptop. And now getting around to the left side, we'll be taking a look at the final ports. You have your DC input port here, that's where your power cord goes in. Your VGA output for connecting an external monitor or a projector. Here's your exhaust for all of the cooling system. There's the RJ45 Ethernet port. This is where you're going to be plugging in for wired internet if you need it. An HDMI output so you can connect it easily to an HDTV. So you get audio and video through that port. And then you have two more USB 3.0 ports. So all of the USB ports on here have been upgraded to USB 3.0. And you do have all the basics that you need for interfacing it for external devices. And now with the lid closed, here is a quick look at everything 360 degrees around, just so you know exactly what the laptop's going to look like all the way around when you have the lid closed. And once more, more of an overhead view. It's a pretty nice laptop as far as how it looks. It's got that nice minimalistic look. It's got a good color scheme going. And for a 17 inch laptop, it's actually quite thin. Okay, we've turned off the lights and now you get to take a look at the keyboard illumination. So you have all of the keys with illumination, including the power button, so you can find that easily. 
and this is just a one color backlight here. It's using white color with a slight light blue tint. The backlighting does make it really easy to use in a dark environment if you have to hunt for the keys normally. Now you don't have to worry about doing so. you just be able to take a look and know exactly what you're going to press. Now here's a quick look at some of the widgets included on the laptop. You have the instant on widget. This lets you enable or disable the instant on feature. It's like a super sleep feature. It lets the laptop extend its battery life and wake up faster. Also you have a second widget. This one is there to let you easily enable the battery saver mode or the high performance mode and always know which one you're in currently. In the Windows Device Manager, you're going to see that there's two display adapters on here. You have the dedicated one that's provided by NVIDIA, but also Intel provides you with an integrated graphics that's part of the Ivy Bridge CPUs. So you can choose whether you want the laptop to be forced into using the NVIDIA graphics or the Intel graphics, or you can have it automatically select based on need. Over in the processor side, you'll see that we have the eight threads here provided by the i7-3610 Quad Mobile, and all of your other devices are listed on here as well. Okay, it's sound test time. Here's a quick listen to the way the built-in laptop speakers with the external subwoofer plugged in sound when you play the included Windows media files. All right, now with sound testing done, it's time to move on to performance testing. And here is our GPU test. We have run the 3D Mark Vantage benchmark. Again, this was run with the NVIDIA GTX 650 Mobile with two gigabytes of onboard video RAM and the Core i7 Intel 3610 Quad Mobile CPU. And the results were in at P8927. So that's actually a really respectable score. We were monitoring the temperatures with MSI Afterburner during the benchmark, and it looks like the highest temperature we were able to reach was 74 degrees Celsius on the GPU, which is actually quite fine. And also here is the GPU-Z verification, just to show that the temperatures were logging properly over time. The Windows Index score came out to 5.9. This is always determined by the lowest subscore you get, and the hard drives are always the lowest score at 5.9. So everything else is 7.1 or higher and you can raise the score by getting a solid state disk installed. All right, finally it's time to get things turned upside down around here and we're looking at the bottom of the laptop. Showing you that you have your standard battery insert here and where your ventilation vents are located. You have one main section here over the RAM and a subsection over one of the hard drives. This is a user accessible door. You just need to unscrew one screw to remove it. And that makes it very easy to get inside to the dual hard drives and two of your sticks of RAM. So Asus wanted to make sure this was very easy to get to for the users. You only have to unscrew one screw to get inside. Then you can obviously upgrade your hard drives to something better down the road in case you want to go for a larger capacity or a solid state disk. And your RAM is here for upgrading to a higher capacity RAM as well. The laptop does include 8GB of DDR3 1600MHz RAM by default, so that should be more than enough for most users. But it can be upgraded to a full 16GB if you ever desire to do so. And so everybody, with that, that's going to bring us to the end of our product showcase for today for the new N76 series. We hope that you found all the information that you needed on this model, and if you'd like to find out more, just visit our site, gentechpc.com. We have the full product specs on our page as well as a customized ordering process. So if you find that there's something you'd like to upgrade at the time of purchase, we can do that for you and have it covered under warranty.
If you have any specific questions you'd like to have us answer for you, then feel free to contact us by phone or email and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So once again, this was Gentech PC. We hope that you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.